Hello to our fellow Maplewood Place Park partners. We are here in Lake Charles and thought it would be a good idea to deliver the October report in video format instead of the usual document format. Since we're here, show you a little bit about what's going on at the park and answer any questions that you may have about what's going on in the project. We are on the cusp of opening. We will catch up with you in a moment from the site itself. Hi guys, Victor here. I'm here in front of Arvel Loop. This is the city street that we are paving as part of the Maplewood Place Park construction. And as you can see, it's actually quite wet. There's a bunch of low spots on the road that are pretty wet. And in fact, there's a rain shower here behind us. It's about to rain again, unfortunately. And we're just waiting for this road to dry out. Now, what we, one of the decisions we made in the last week is that we're actually going to be putting down a lime treatment this is going to be done that that lime when it's mixed in with the surface of the soil is going to harden up and provide an impervious surface that'll allow us to complete the road we we're hoping to avoid that particular step so that we didn't have to spend the extra money it's going to cost us about eighty thousand dollars above and beyond the plan so we're gonna to have to bring in some a little bit of additional capital to do that but right now waiting for the weather is costing us way too much in terms of time you know every day that we're not in service we're losing four thousand dollars of revenue so it's important to us to get into service as quickly as possible and we're basically done waiting so over the next couple of days we will be starting the lime treatment here on the road so we can actually get into service i'll catch up with you a little bit we'll be we'll be showing you some of what's going on inside the park so we'll catch up with you in a few minutes i want to give you one additional piece of information as it relates to the construction of the road this road needs to be designed and built to Department of Transportation specifications. And what that means is that the substrate of the road cannot get any deep ruts in it. If that substrate gets a rut from, because we drove a truck on it or anything like that, Department of Transportation will require us to strip out a foot of material and bring in new fill so that we have clean substrate that has not been rutted by a heavy truck. So because of that, we've been forced to really slow down here and wait until this substrate dries out so that we can actually drive on it. Otherwise, it's going to add a considerable amount of extra cost and force us to replace material that's already on the roadbed. Okay, we're back here at Maplewood Place Park. This is the office building here directly behind us. If you pan a little bit to the right, you'll see the laundry building. Uh, this is where we have all the laundry facilities and the bathrooms and showers. Uh, the high-pressure water tanks are municipal water supplies here uh, located uh, right next to the office as well. So everything is pretty much ready to go here. You can might be able to see some of the electrical wires and transformers are in place. Uh, the All the lighting is in place. And we'll do a little bit of a tour, show you some of the facilities that are in place. So we're basically just ready to go here waiting for this darn road to get paved. Once this road is paved, we will be in operation. It's such a critical step because right now we simply cannot get RVs onto the property uh, until the road is paved. So it's an exciting time. It's a frustrating time, but we're here. We're on the cusp of being open and uh, just wanted to give you this update from the site itself so that you get to see a little bit more about what's going on here and where your money's invested. Of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me directly. My email is victor at victorjm.com. You've got that already in your notes, but uh, feel free to reach out to me. Or if you want to call me, call me at 347-708-8383. We'll catch up with you in a moment. On the other side, we'll show you some of the sites. Okay, we're back here at the very back of Maplewood RV Park. And as you can see, I've got we've got some of the installations here behind us. There's uh, a hookup at every single spot that will service two RVs and every single one of these electrical pedestals will support actually eight RVs uh, with 50 amp service and if we decide at some point to convert to mobile homes we'll have 200 amp service for every single mobile home which frankly is overkill but it's required by code. Uh, this particular one the meters still have yet to be installed but as I understand they're coming in this week the electric utility will be coming in to do that this week everything else is in place you know all the transformers are in place the lighting's in place and so like I said we're excited to get into service here a little bit of standing water still we've had a tr tremendous amount of rain you can see a little bit the grounds a little bit shiny uh, the the earthwork team is going to be on site over the next few days completing some of the final grading with uh, some uh, recycled asphalt uh, to bring the level up a tiny bit and dry out some of these particular areas so that we'll be able to reliably get in service without standing water on the property. And then the final step, we have a bunch of uh, greenery that will be coming in. 
uh, some very fast growing uh, barrier trees that will provide some shade and uh, improve the overall look of the park as well make, make it look a bit more like a park so it's befitting of its name so that's the update for this month um, if you have any questions of course feel free to reach out to me again i'm at victor at victorjm.com or if you want to call me direct directly at 347-708-8383 and we'll talk to you again next month well in fact when we talk to you we will be in service so look forward to seeing you then bye for now on interstate 10 about a mile from lake charles it's just after five o'clock right after shift change time and this is where traffic really backs up we can expect to be stuck here for a good hour uh, the volume of traffic is very high the choke point are the bridges there's two bridges crossing the Calcasieu River they're very tall bridges very expensive to build and of course very expensive to maintain the reason there's only two bridges is be and you know these bridges are huge because shipping traffic has to pass underneath so they're at least 180 feet clearance from the water which makes some big expensive bridges and that is the choke point that is what makes it really important for our project that is Maplewood Place Park to be located on the west side of the river which is where the majority of the projects are located if you want to save an hour to an hour and a half of your life twice a day so two to three hours a day uh, you'll want to come and stay at Maplewood Place RV Park and not one of the other parks that's located on the wrong side of the river so uh, just thought I would share this update with you and uh, this is you know the main reason why we selected this location I'll talk to you soon bye for now All right, folks, that wraps up this month's update. If you have any questions, of course, don't hesitate to reach out to me at victor at victorjm.com or call me directly at 347-708-8383. I wish you a great rest of your week, and we'll be giving you updates as we get into service here.